Hey everyone, my name is Jess and I am an opera singer. By popular demand, I am reacting to another one of Fosia's videos and this is from her stripped live concert. It is Tears of Gold. Now, if you haven't seen the entire concert, I highly recommend that you do so. It is freaking phenomenal. Without further ado, let's just get right into the video and make sure you subscribe. Last summer and I wrote it about those times in life where I've just been in friendships where I just kept giving and giving and giving and it felt like nothing was ever reciprocated and so mm. I've always just been a little bit too forgiving and a little bit too nice and that's kind of what the song is about I, I give it all and nothing comes back but I just keep doing it over and over again mm. Mm. Okay, I know the song just started, but so much has already happened. Who wrote this accompaniment? It is so freaking good. The first thing I wanna say is I love the relationship between the piano and the vocal part. In the very beginning, the pianist is playing low octaves in his or her left hand. And what that does is it alludes to this sort of dark, mysterious type atmosphere. But Fosia, when she came in, I was not expecting her to come in on the note that she came in on. Okay. Sit tight, I'm going to explain to you why this one note that she came in on is so interesting. So like I said before, the pianist in his left hand is playing those low notes. Those notes are what we call the tonic. If you are not a music theory nerd, the tonic just means home bass. And in this song, home bass is one, three, five, three, one. And um, as listeners, we expect to hear some sort of home base feeling and sound, especially at the very beginning of the song, and even more so if we've heard it from the pianist part, but not the vocal part. And what's interesting is Fosia came in on four, which is dissonant to one, four, four has a tendency to want to resolve down to three, four, three, or up to five, four, five. Um, and right after Fosia sings four, she immediately sings three, five, the two notes that four wants to resolve to. And then at the last second of this little riff, she finally gives us one, that home base, home, home base notes. And then the second time she sang the riff section, she sang it on a schwa, on this uh, uh, which is like this painful moaning type sound, almost like as if she's physically hurting. And all of this just adds to this idea of tension and resolution. The tension of four wanting to resolve to three or the tension of four wanting to resolve to five and then finally one or the tension of the uh, the moaning uh it's all so 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 freaking good okay let's keep going we'll listen to more mama always told me that i was too naive gave away my trust for pennies i said don't you worry didn't think that i'd be broken down and crying to pause again okay i want to talk about the part that goes wrecked check heart in debt 
all you do is come around just came here to collect this rhythmic change reminds me of when you accidentally drop change on the floor maybe you didn't see it coming and it's like this sporadic sound effect this section is such a sporadic and different rhythmic pattern than what we've heard before and then secondly i freaking love the melodic climb on the phrase don't you know that i'd cry tears up which is the perfect setup for god for you whatever she does um and the vowels that she's using allows her to not only get up there on those high notes, but stay up there. And then she's just giving us and giving us these exquisite high notes and then pauses and then goes, because of me in her lower range, which is like this resentful, almost pissed off sound. And then after she's done singing, you hear in the piano, I think it's his right hand, the da 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 da. but it ends on duh and not duh, which means we want more. Okay, let's keep listening. I know that this is my fault, gave a little too much, knew that this was gonna happen, but I'm not gonna lie, you can make me cry a thousand times, I'll come running back, like what is going on with my head, wreck, check, she ended unresolved and why did she end unresolved maybe because she doesn't need resolution from you bad friend and maybe because she's found a resolution within herself <sighs> okay the idea to compare toxic friendships to money is so creative because the common denominator in both friendships and money is reciprocity. You don't give money without expecting something in return. Now hold up, that something doesn't even necessarily have to be a physical thing. It can be a self-enlightenment type of feeling. For example, if I saw a homeless woman on the street who was just hungry and I gave her a meal, I'm not expecting anything physically back from her. The fact that it made me feel good is the return I'm looking for. And friendships can be compared in the same manner. If your friend is going through it and you are there for that friend, that is the giving. And when the tables have turned and you need a friend, that friend being there for you is the return. I think the fact that Fosia wrote a song of this magnitude 
about friendships just goes to show how big her heart really is. So, so well written and so well sung. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. You don't, oof, this gave me a whole nother type of feeling. I, I, I literally can't. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe. I have amazing videos coming up this week and next week for you. I can't wait to release them. Also, turn on that bell notification so that you don't miss any videos with great information like this. I hope you found it very helpful. And also, don't forget to leave a comment down below on what you agreed with this video or maybe even disagreed or something you saw that I just didn't mention because again, I can't make a video for an hour well i can't make a video for an hour long but i know your guys's attention span anyways so make sure you leave those comments and also let me know down below what you would like to see next because as i say in all of my videos i learned so much from all of these different live performances and all of these different artists it's it's so much fun i hope you have a great day and i'll see you soon bye